I went out of town the other day and there was a big windstorm here in my house. And, um, and I got a call from uh, my wife and she said, man, th- there, was, there was a really loud noise last night. I'm not sure what happened. So I got home. I started looking around and there was a huge tree that had fallen down. Now, fortunately, it didn't fall into the road. It didn't crush the big fence, but, but it crushed part of our fence. It was probably 40, 40 foot tall, probably five feet across at the bottom. And, uh, and it took out some of the fence and it damaged the ground. And so I was looking at it thinking, okay, what am I going to do about this? And, uh, and I realized what, what looks like a problem is actually a great opportunity. Um, I pulled out my chainsaw, started to go to work, borrowed a friend's wood splitter. And what, what could have been really devastating turned out to be an opportunity and probably is going to produce six or $700 worth of firewood. So here's the wisdom from the wood shop. Sometimes when you read a Bible verse like Romans 8.28 that says, God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. That, that, can, that can feel like things should be easy. Nothing should go wrong. But actually what the scripture is teaching us is that when you encounter difficult things, there is always a way, always a way, that God is going to use those circumstances to accomplish his purpose in your life. Now, sometimes his purpose may include deconstructing some things, like my fence, <laughs> but, but the end result is always that he is building up a resource in your life that will help you follow Jesus and help you bring more of the light and the hope of the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. So the next time a, a tree falls on the property of your life, remember the wisdom from the wood shop and say, Lord, in this pain, in this frustration, even in this brokenness, what is it that you want to bring out of it that can be a resource to me and through me to the world that you love so much?